Okay, folks, this is part three. I'm definitely going home now. I am so wanting to just get out and do something else. I don't know what I'll do tonight. I just know I don't want to just stay at home like I've done for this entire year. Night. <laughs> uh, but it's very cold. When it gets warmer, I'm... <sighs> I am going to do what I want to do when it's warm enough in March or April. I do not care. I do not care. Ugh. I'm like one of those people, just like you guys, if I was in a prison, <laughs> uh, give me a weapon, or you just don't have a barrier fist. If there was a riot, man, I'd be out of that prison in no time. Yeah, like, that's... Get out of here. We are done with this place, man. That's sometimes, you know, how I feel. I think that's how we all feel on some level, but there is someone else out here that's brave the cold, by the way. I just saw them. Makes me feel a little bit less of a crazy man for being out here for so long in this kind of weather. Incidentally, talking about the cold weather. So, of course, my parents, my family, we have a cabin. My parents have a cabin, you know. And, uh, you know, out in, out in the forest, you might have seen one of my other videos, that country. So, someone in my family mentioned, hey, let's do a, let's do a polar bear challenge or an Iron Man thing where we, Jump in the water, freezing cold water. I guess we all agreed to it, but it wasn't like I was overjoyed to do it. But isn't it funny how there's some things in life that you agree to do, or you say, okay, I'll do it. And then maybe once you're at the point of doing it, you're like, what did I get myself into? I can happen a fair bit. It can happen to the best of us. I imagine for a lot of people that went into the armed forces, that was probably their reaction. At least at five in the morning when the drill sergeant was yelling at him, Soldier, you had better get your butt up right now. And they were probably quite a bit more explicit than that. Yeah, their voice is probably quite a bit louder than I'm right now because people are sleeping right now because still as it always is I'm the one teaching and working on everyone else that's getting home from work or at least they're getting done with work at home oh I couldn't I couldn't resist I couldn't resist poking a little bit not, not po making fun of the 40 hour work guys I just couldn't resist pointing out that my life is different, fundamentally, than a lot of other folks that have full-time jobs. You know, but then at the same time, there's people that have night shift jobs. Graveyard shift. So maybe I can't really talk. All I know is that when it's sunny outside, I have to go teach somebody. So I don't want that little brat not have practiced at least. Is that too much to ask? <sighs> the next little brat that hasn't practiced, oh, I just sometimes, I am done teaching you. Now I'm the last, one of the last piano teachers or one of the, last, one of the very last music teachers that would really do that. I just, oh my gosh, man. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I, I guess I'm kind of... I guess I'm kind of glorifying Eastern Europe a little bit. And to an extent, East Asia. Even though I think I really attacked 
East Asian women, or East Asian culture, more East Asian women, in a fairly recent video. But it was more my intention to, intention, as it always is, uh, when it really comes down to it is, oh, I despise the West sometimes. I despise, despise the West. Now, I'm not saying that I'd be like this huge supporter of communist China or, or old school Russia or something. I'm, I'm not somehow this automatically this anti-Western guy. I'm not going to march to Jesse Jackson saying down with Western culture. That is not me at all. That's not me at all. I honestly think, to be honest, I'm just going to just say this. And this is also another subject matter for another video. As you guys know, <laughs> you know this better than I do on some level. For a long time now, the West has been under attack. The West has been under serious, serious attack. Putin himself knows this, and it's not just political correctness. It's <clears throat> look, the our entire culture in the West is so much different than it used to be. Even when I was a little, even during Reagan years, when I was a little boy, a little, little tyke. <sighs> it is really jacked up nowadays. Everything is really seriously jacked up in terms of the Western culture. And like looking at other areas of the world, embarrassed almost to be American. <sighs> Not embarrassed to be American, but I'm embarrassed as to what so many of the people are doing in the United States. I just am embarrassed. I, I don't I don't want to stick up for my fellow Americans. If they are indeed people I just have no respect for. I'm like, go ahead and nuke us, man. Uh, some of us will survive and maybe that's for the better. I mean honest, I I've honestly almost got to that point. Uh, I just uh, you know, like, Africans see us being a land of plenty. What's going on with the Americans? Africans are saints. So many of them, like, are just... Uh, these people I've known. You always have people that want a few extra bucks and try to scam you, of course. But, oh, man, I just... <laughs> the West is still is very much under attack. It's... England's great. English culture is great. Old English culture, I mean. We know this. Same deal with France. Same deal with Germany. There's nothing wrong with all that old stuff. And everybody has been attacking the old European cultures. The old values. Judeo-Christian values. <clears throat> all this is under attack. Everything. Everything. Everything of any, of any degree of being upstanding and being... You know, a good person in a best, more of the Western cultural sense, and yeah, the Boy Scouts are not what this very very organization is not what they were just a year or two ago. Or, I don't know, a few years ago. It's it's everything has changed. Everything has changed, and the people that have stayed the same, or they're trying to say this, you know, they're trying to preserve the old values, and they still love their European heritage, but they're not racist about it, but they're like, you know, we love the old England, or we love the old France, or we love the old whatever, whatever, and it's not just Europe, it's like other countries too, but when we're talking about the West, I guess we're talking about that kind of stuff, you know, but, and it was like, we were fighting against, all this political correctness, we are fighting against um, the secularism, the humanism. And how people are just acting like cretins these days. It's just the only thing is, is that you don't hear them. You know, those people are, are very silenced on the media. Who, who do you, I mean, who, who do you hear? Who can you hear? Who, I mean, I, so many of us are just watching YouTube, right? I don't know how many other people we are talking to in real life right now. But how many people... Are hearing a lot of, I would say I use the word conservative. I would, 
or at least more of a social term, use of the word, I suppose, or cultural, sociocultural kind of use of the term conservative. But how many people are hearing uh, some kind of vibe, you know, from people like Dwight D. Eisenhower? Or, you know, a lot of members of my church, you know, that's a general norm, like Jeffrey R. Holland, or, yeah, you, you know what I'm talking about, Ezra Taft Benson, Spencer W. Kimball, Fred Rogers, Protestants as it is, too, like, of course. But are we getting a lot of that? Are we, are we getting this feeling still of, um, oh, yeah, yeah. Proud to be American. Yeah. Go America, right? Not necessarily we're going to shoot people down, but... Like... Yeah, I mean, like... I know what I'm talking about. I know, I know exactly what I'm talking about. How many of us in the media are getting that... I would call it a righteous... Indeed, a righteous... Vibe. From good men and women. That are they're saying what's right... And good about... The old cultural norms. Not just from Europe, but a lot of it's from Europe. No, I would say that most of us are not getting very much of that right now. Most of us are definitely not getting very much of that. What we're getting... <sighs> what, what we're getting on YouTube is a lot of ads about... Android games, perhaps, or stupid little crap like that, like especially just the mindless stuff. We're getting things that are even more insulting, and they're repetitive over time. And it's it's an it's an ongoing kind of thing; it never stops. I wanted to go home, by the way, but I'm thinking I'm still going to talk about some other things here. Uh, on a given day, right now. I'm watching YouTube probably, oh, easily for hours. But again, a lot of that content is educational still. It's not, it most, a lot of it's not entertainment. But a lot of my time is right now on YouTube. But it, I think it's worth it, to a large extent. But yeah, I don't, I don't have YouTube Premium. I'm, I'm seeing these ads. I'm feeling the overall effect of the YouTube culture, just like you guys are. If you don't have YouTube Premium, or if you are watching YouTube a fair bit. Not just like occasionally, or here and there, or whatever. And again, the overall effect, it is not wholesome. But, you'd think, oh, if I'm subscribed to all these great people, or people that I am more or less pretty shrewd about subscribing to, or, you know, I can unsubscribe from any of them at any time. No, you're still subject to YouTube's ads. And I've seen a few doozies, by the way. And I'm also including other ads that aren't videos. And I'm talking about um, the kinds of things that you'll hear even on channels that you'll enjoy watching. The spirit that good, otherwise good men and women or good younger, whatever, good people will have. Uh, otherwise good people will have. People that you enjoy listening to. Just as you've heard on some level from me tonight, you'll hear it a hundred times worse or more acutely much more rudely spoken, much more directly spoken. There's a guy I'm subscribed to, a lot of people wouldn't, who's extremely conservative and extremely unapologetic. I think he's a what, Paul Joseph Watson or something like that. He's a British guy. I agree with his views, but man alive, he does not give a crap if you're on the left. At all. At all. Like, the man is, again, I'm not saying he's wrong by what he says. I'm just saying he's definitely a Jordan Peterson type, to the extreme. As in, go ahead and be a 
ASS hole to the Democrats. No big deal. They're being ASS holes to you back. <sighs> and, you know, that kind of way of being, if you see enough of his stuff, just my parents mentioned this about Rush Limbaugh when I was in high school. You watch enough cantankerous people over time, you're probably going to get a little bit more cantankerous yourself. That's the way it works. So, but it's not, that's just, that's just being cantankerous about politics. That's like nothing. Like, it's a drop in the bucket. Like, I'm thinking about all the things I've seen still. I just kind of like, eh, eh, let's get past the ad, skip the ad. No, man. Like, like, when was the last time you saw an ad on YouTube? That was as, uh, I don't know, this word is popping up all over the place. Everybody's using the word wholesome. Wholesome. <laughs> wholesome. <laughs> what is the deal with using the word wholesome as much as. <laughs> just like, this video is so wholesome. No, this video is just nice to watch. The definition of the word wholesome means something that not only is G-rated, but also really elevates your spirits in a spiritual aspect. <clears throat> Where the Red Fern Grows is a wholesome movie. Seeing a little turtle eat a cucumber is fine, but um, wholesome? <laughs> I guess. Anyway, I'm, I'm seeing these trends. I see them. I see them all the time. All right. And um, oh, where was I going with all this? Oh yeah. Well, it's just mind numbing. It's like this is onslaught. This onslaught of crap and it's crap from the left just listening to ben shapiro ben shapiro is right when he says the media big tech they are all freaking democrats and liberals all of them that makes a lot of sense it does but if you want to look at another way maybe just maybe, a more accurate way of putting it is establishment Democrats and actually some Republicans. Because after all, who owns all this stuff? The Illuminati. <laughs> the Illuminati. Yep. We can call it, Ben, you can call them Democrats if, hey, you know, I'm sure those guys are very visible. I'm sure it's very visibly left-leaning. Especially with the big tech and media. But, you know, when it, when it boils right down to it, what is it that you're noticing? Well, you're noticing stuff that's anti family or anti just traditional Christian morality or Jewish morality, however you want to call it. Whatever it is, it's anti West, it's anti value, anti Western conservative values, anti Ten Commandments, anti Bible, anti, you know, everything that we actually stand for. Or thought we, you know, or the things that I grew up with, right? It's against all those things. It's really not. I mean, it always. It's like a very, it's a very slow thing. It's like, you know, this. This is why. By the way, this is why conservatives get so upset about all the, everything that goes on these days. It seems really liberal. It's. It seems to be insulting to the spirit of what. Well, at least the Christian element of conservatism is all about. You can't... I don't know. You know, you, if you're able to watch YouTube without that crap, that's the way to go. But then YouTube wants them, you to pay them money every month to have the ads taken away. But then what are they going to do? You know, it's so. Oh yeah, Georg Sprave from Germany. He makes his own bows. Like I, 
deeper voice, awesome guy, really great guy. I recommend you check out his channel, by the way, Garrick Sprave. Ah, it's something like that. Last name is spelled S-P-R-A-V-E or something like that. Anyway, very much, you'll notice right off the bat, he is German. Okay, so, big, big, buff, strong, round-bellied, jolly guy. So he is one of the main guys that's been trying to uh, fight YouTube's uh, corruption and stuff. Working with Lady, you've done a great job. Mm, my fingers are cold. Man. Um, so you know. I, I just want to say that there's stuff going on in that end. There are things that people are trying to do. Question is, will we ever get more money for to monetize videos and all these other things that we wanted or we got really ag angry about when Google bought YouTube and all this other stuff that we're sick and tired of about YouTube. Will it change for the better? Oh, kick Susan out, man. She's She should be history as far as I'm concerned. But the bigger question is whether or not you want to look at this politically or otherwise. This whole censoring thing of, of conservatives that Ben is talking about, Ben Shapiro, it seems to be a real thing for me. But really, I think it's just people... I just think it's... Heck, it's just good versus evil on some level. It's going to be... So people on the left that are actually good people that are going to be singled out too because they're, what, they're not going to be humanist, secularist, you know, empty eggshells of people. They're going to have some heart to them. <laughs> I mean, like, are we going to get to a point where, oh, it's just like, you know, Vin Diesel, Vin Diesel movie, um, Chronicles of Riddick, are we going to get to a point where we're hunted down because we have warm blood in our bodies? And those of us who have compassion are hunted down. I mean real compassion, not just not just paying more taxes to Democrats to supposedly help the poor, which never gets to the poor people anyway. I'm not talking about that, you know. Yeah. I guess to sum up here, I gotta head inside and sit down here for a sec. <clears throat> ah. That was quite a walk tonight. I'm glad I walked for ways, even though I'm, my hands are ice cold. It felt good. Boy, it did. Anyway. You know, I, I started watching YouTube and started getting involved with YouTube and participating in YouTube more because it was great. It had all the stuff in one place I liked. I still have faith in YouTube. I'm just saying, whether or not it's YouTube or some other thing that's on the internet that is a way to connect to all of us that we don't know each other in real life or we don't, it's like an online thing that we, you know, it's whatever it is, you know, engage in it's online and, and all all the other kinds of places that you could do that sort of thing. I'm just saying they all seem to be the same deal or worse. Um, and Ben seems to be pointing out, Ben Shapiro seems to be pointing out that, you know, conservatives are being kicked off platforms left and right. And there's going to be a backlash. And it will be ugly. And, uh, you know, who am I to say otherwise? Who am I to stand in their way? Why, why am I kind of inadvertently defending these guys? Well, I think it's very justified for conservatives to be really, really, really angry with the way things are. I think it's more than justified. Not just conservatives, but Democrats as well, I suppose. But it's like, 
it's just it's just really easy for me to see everybody being at the wit's end. I who am I to to stop a, a dam from bursting? Well, I know it's about to burst. I see the cracks. I see the cracks forming already. Grand Coulee Dam, so to speak. It's it's coming, folks. We say, oh, let's get our guns and go hide in the mountains. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm not quite one of those folks, but I'm not all that far away from that crowd. I watched this Norwegian guy, by the way. He's kind of, he's a pagan dude, but I guess he isn't a Lutheran like he supposedly should be as Norwegian or as their culture kind of has this. That's just Scandinavia, but what I'm trying to say is I, I'm watching this guy, he's a Norwegian guy, and, and he's making all these points, and he kind of kind of just tends to repeat himself a lot of times, but it's not always exactly the same thing, but it's kind of like, well, he keeps repeating himself because, well, he feels very strongly about this one, these certain things. He's, he is conservative. I know that in Europe there's a lot of liberals. I know, but in Norway, there's a lot of, it's great that there's a lot of conservatives there, you know, it's like, Thank you, Norway. Thank you for keeping your head on straight. Unlike that one country to your east. My goodness. There's some conservative Swedes. I know. But boy, I just, I don't know what happens. I have no idea what happened in that country. They're just, the naivety of the Swedes has no bounds. You know, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I just, yeah. I, I, okay, getting back to my, my YouTube period of thought here, um, I, I I do not, I, I just, I, I, I hate the ads. The ads are three times as loud as what you're watching. It's worse than watching TV. I don't watch TV anymore. Of course not. But then the same people now have infiltrated YouTube. The Illuminati have also, you know, basically had their way on YouTube now. So and they pay money to get these, you know, it's like, it's, it's just another version of almost like what happened with, you know, this is what South Park is kind of, you know, they made their little cartoons about, um, oh, Viacom <laughs> or, or um, Comcast or something, I don't know, you know, yeah. And it's the same thing that supposedly is happening with YouTube, although however, YouTube is more tolerable still because you can still kind of have, you can watch things that you're subscribed to and you're not forced to pay for things you're not going to watch. I still admit it's much better than cable, you know. I just, those movie channels are really the only things to really watch and it's all about the movies for me, man. Like, only some of them, that's really about it. And once you've seen a movie a gazillion times, I guess it's time to do something else, you know. So, yeah. But it's it's not it's I think the word it's not wholesome, right? It's not wholesome. The it's not something that's uplifting. What's happening with all with with the environment on YouTube? You, you know. You, you, even like reporting somebody on YouTube, you think, oh, I'm going to report this comment. Uh, you know, block this person. All you know, Sure, you can do whatever. You know, Will YouTube ever take any action against any people anymore that are not behaving themselves? Probably not. Probably not, unless, unless somebody has had some minor infraction of being not politically correct, right? <laughs> This should be the Ten Commandments of Political Correctness. I mean, but YouTube is, you know, penalizing conservatives left and right. Ah. So it has to be something racist, right? Just, really? And you, you see, I don't know, I've heard of some nutty things happening in schools, by the way. Public schools, of course. I, I don't want to believe it. You know, but you can only you can only go so far before people are just like, all right, you know, we're going to, I don't know, we're going to go, we're just going to break down the system. P people are going to have enough of it at some point. People are going to go berserk. You're going to have enough people that go berserk. And the entire world is going to be in chaos. When that happens, and that's not, I don't, that's not all, all that far away, folks. 
What are the things I'm doing to try to keep sane? The things I've always done in my life. Maybe just a little bit more of it. Maybe I'm remembering, I'm, I'm trying to keep in my spirit, my memory, my soul, the things that um, keep me to be proud to be an American, keep me proud to be a member of my family, keep me much, very much in loving, you know, countries of Europe where my ancestry came from, keep me loving my church, loving my fellow men, loving other Christians and Jews and folks that are Muslims and stuff, Muslim and everybody else. And anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up. I'm going to, I'm basically a popsicle right now. <sighs> My rant. I just, you know, women just don't act like a entitled brat. You know, that's what I'm trying to, trying to say. And YouTube, if you ever watch this video, maybe just be a little bit more wholesome. <laughs> wholesome. Oh boy. Okay, I'll catch you later. Take care. Bye.